Seven months ago, NASA fumbled the ball. Tuesday, February 11th, SpaceX CEO Elon Musk picked it up. In July 2019, NASA shocked space fans and Congress with its announcement that it was removing William Gerstermeyer from his post and naming him merely a special advisor to NASA's deputy administrator instead. Space fans viewed the move as a demotion, and not just space fans, but honest to goodness congresspeople, the people in charge of funding NASA's budget. But NASA's loss could be SpaceX's gain. Last Tuesday, February 11th, SpaceX has hired away Gerstermeyer to work in its own Mission Assurance Department. There, the man many consider one of the world's top specialists in flying humans in space should be able to provide invaluable insight into NASA's priorities in choosing winners and losers for its crewed space missions. In this video, Engineering Today will discuss SpaceX Crew Dragon, which is set to carry astronauts soon. Why SpaceX hires NASA's former head of human spaceflight in surprise move. Let's get into details. SpaceX is only a couple of months away from its first attempt at launching astronauts, and now the company has brought in one of the foremost experts in human spaceflight to help it do so successfully. SpaceX has confirmed that William Gerstenmaier has joined the company as a consultant as it prepares to launch astronauts for the first time. Former NASA Administrator Charles Bolden, a veteran shuttle commander, tweeted congratulations, calling it a tremendous addition to the SpaceX team, while keeping Bill in the greater human spaceflight family. He will help make an already excellent team even better. Congrats to you, Bill, and to SpaceX. This is a consequential hire for SpaceX. It's difficult to overstate the influence Gersten Meyer has over human spaceflight, both in the United States and abroad. He led NASA's space shuttle, International Space Station, commercial crew and exploration programs for more than a decade. He immediately brings credibility to the company's safety culture. Former space shuttle program manager Wayne Hale, who now chairs the Human Spaceflight Committee of NASA's Advisory Council, told last summer, Bill was recognized by everybody as being technically well-grounded and very astute. He was known to listen carefully and to make his judgments based on good technical reasons. Gersten Meyer, known throughout the aerospace community simply as Gerst, joined the agency in 1977 and rose through the ranks to play key roles in the development of what became the International Space Station. He also managed NASA participation with Roscosmos in the Shuttle Mir program and served as the overall space station program manager before becoming associate administrator for spaceflight at NASA headquarters in 2005. He became associate administrator for human exploration and operations in 2011 when NASA merged its exploration and space operations mission directorates. Gersten Meyer held that position, which oversaw the International Space Station, commercial cargo and crew, and space launch system and Orion programs until July 10th. But NASA abruptly announced that day that Gersten Meyer would be reassigned to serve as a special advisor to NASA Deputy Administrator Jim Morehard. Gersten Meyer's deputy, Bill Hill, was reassigned to a similar position at the same time. His reassignment took many both inside and outside the agency by surprise. He was demoted by NASA Administrator Jim Bridenstine in July 2019, in large part to clear the way for a new management team to oversee final development of the rockets, spacecraft, and infrastructure needed to send astronauts back to the moon under the Artemis program. Jim Bridenstine felt the space agency's exploration programs were not moving forward fast enough. Sources reported at the time that this decision shook some of the agency's partners, who were comfortable with the longtime leader of NASA's human spaceflight program. Some called the engineer in tears after hearing the news. Gersten Meyer was highly regarded at NASA, and in the broader space community, for his expertise and leadership during tumultuous times at the agency, including the retirement of the shuttle, cancellation of the Constellation program, and the greater reliance on commercial providers to transport cargo and soon astronauts to and from the station. The reputation extends outside the United States as well. Congrats to SpaceX with hiring an outstanding aerospace engineer, former NASA head of human exploration program William Gerstenmaier, tweeted Dmitry Rogozin, head of the Russian space agency Roscosmos. 
His role in the ISS project was tremendous. I wish my friend Bill every success in his new position. In his new position, Gersten Meyer is reporting to Hans Koenigsmann, the Vice President of Mission Assurance at SpaceX. Although the role is officially a consultancy, it is expected to become a full-time position. The hiring could have longer-term implications as well. Few people in the global aerospace community have as much gravitas as Gersten Meyer or as much understanding of how to build coalitions to explore space. As SpaceX seeks partners, including NASA, to work with it on developing Starship to take humans to the Moon and Mars, Gersten Meyer is well positioned to offer advice, stitch together mission plans and open key doors. Gersten Meyer and SpaceX have a complicated relationship, but he supported Elon Musk at key moments during the company's development. In the wake of the 2003 Columbia disaster, NASA was ordered to retire the space shuttle by the end of the decade. NASA had to quickly come up with another way to ship supplies and equipment to the outpost, and on December 23, 2008, Gersten Meyer announced SpaceX and Orbital Sciences had won contracts to build and launch commercial cargo ships. When the $1.6 billion SpaceX contract was announced, founder Elon Musk said the company was virtually out of money after three straight failures on its Falcon 1 rocket. The rocket succeeded on its fourth attempt in September 2008. But the path forward was far from clear. Gersten Meyer's decision to maintain two competitors as part of the commercial crew program in 2014, SpaceX and Boeing, was also essential, although it was not a company-saving move. Boeing was lobbying hard for all the funds and very nearly got them. Gersten Meyer was the deciding official who kept two providers in the competition. It's proven to be a smart decision, as SpaceX is poised to beat Boeing into space by months if not years, at a 50% less cost. His hiring at SpaceX comes at a critical time for Elon Musk's space company, which is planning its first launch of NASA astronauts. Called Demo-2, the mission would fly two astronauts in a SpaceX Crew Dragon capsule to the International Space Station. It would be the first time since the end of the Space Shuttle program in 2011 that the U.S. has flown its own astronauts to space. SpaceX is expected to carry NASA astronauts as soon as this spring in a Crew Dragon demonstration flight. Gersten Meyer will play a key role in ensuring the safety of those missions and helping SpaceX secure certification for the Crew Dragon vehicle. That voyage is tentatively set for May. Ars Technica's senior space editor, Eric Berger, said on Twitter that the working date for SpaceX's Demo 2 mission is May 7. However, Berger further notes that the launch date is fluid and could be moved up into late April or pushed back later into May, depending on issues not related to hardware. Eric Berger reported this on Monday, citing discussions with space agency officials. SpaceX already completed its uncrewed test flight, Demo-1, in March 2019 and an in-flight abort test last month, the final major milestone before the crew test flight can take place. SpaceX Crew Dragon launches take place from Kennedy Space Center's Launch Complex 39A, which it leases from NASA. Two NASA astronauts, Bob Benkin and Doug Hurley, will fly the SpaceX crewed flight test, dubbed Demo-2. The mission is officially scheduled as a short test flight of a few days, but NASA is deciding whether to keep them aboard for a long-duration mission instead. The ISS crew, complement usually a six, but has been reduced to three until the commercial crew systems are flying. Three crew members returned to Earth last week, leaving two NASA astronauts and one Russian cosmonaut on board, Mir, Morgan, and Skripochka. NASA has been purchasing seats on Russian Soyuz spacecraft since the space shuttle program was terminated in 2011, but with the advent of the commercial crew systems, Russia has reduced the Soyuz production rate and only two instead of four Soyuz launches per year are planned. NASA has a seat on the next one in April that will deliver one NASA and two Russian crew members, after which Mir and her crewmates will return to Earth. That will leave a crew of three, Cassidy, Tikhonov, and Babkin on board. NASA does not have any seats on future Soyuz missions, although it is negotiating for one this fall and perhaps another next spring in case the commercial crew systems are further delayed. 
Thanks for watching. Please subscribe for more videos like this. Hit the like button if you find the video interesting and kindly provide your valuable feedback in the comment section. This will help us to improve.